Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and I'll show you the makeup and which is in a face you can make this one is in a digital makeup actually the face depth you can bring the face depth with this technique so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first here uh, here is our all the templates over there here i just give in the tone over there i just pick up color from here that means the environment that means the you know, dress and other other things so let's start this one from the scratch going to the file and going to the open options i I'm using the stock image and I'll provide you the stock image downloading in my video description and then just press ctrl or command J you can make copy or I'll edit this one so first thing you have to make the shape over there so you can make shape with a paint tool paint tool is the best way to make the shape over there so here P from the keyboard and here I'll make the rough type that means you can make any sort of shape over there right press and make this one into make selections and hit ok and then press ctrl or command j this one is the copy it and then press ctrl or command select this one and i'll now fill it up pick the color from here so i'll take the color this one press the option or alter button and press the delete options it will fill it up now time to make another circle like that so here going to the paint tool again and i'll provide the circle over there like that okay right press and make selections and hit ok and press ctrl command j and just give in this okay that's good and this one two things that means two shape one and two so i'll fill it up press ctrl or command button and select this one and now i'll provide the red type color so i'll provide this type of color and then press alter option button and press delete options so we are getting two things that means one and two and now we'll blend it up so select those things one by one i'll do that at first this one going to the filter and going to the blur and then gaussian blur and make the value 40 40 is good okay that's fine and now the second one second one going to the filter and then blur and then Gaussian blur and I'll make it blend that is uh, blur Gaussian blur the value is 40 that's good and now we have to make this one blending options or blend point going to the soft light and this one soft light okay that's good you are getting this if you want you can keep it into the upper side you are getting the depth over there so here press ctrl command j and then i'll take this one in this portion you can make this one smaller or you can make the customized shape in this portion as well so it's totally up to you if you have lots of time to edit this one or uh, you can provide this one like that okay you're getting like that we'll make this one a group making it group and overall depth will remove that is 85% and then opposite 85% and the fill that is 85% now this one is the proper blend and uh, it's providing you the depth over there And then we'll make this one into like a smart object going to the convert to smart object and then going to the filter again and going to the camera filter in this camera filter we'll apply the presets or you can add other stuffs like that so now I'll make this one a little bit of warm type that's good and then the exposure a little bit down and the contrast a little bit up 
and from the calibration point we'll make the change like that so like this and like this totally up to you and here the color grading options so shadow color color grading is uh, the shadow color highlight color and the mid-tone color here shadow color will provide the value over there before that we have to provide the strength and we can change our value so 236 this is the shadow color and copying this one and the highlight color will keep it same or you can change it up from here before that you have to provide the saturation otherwise you won't get the value properly so that's good and the mid tone mid tone will make the saturation 13 and changing the mid tone like that okay that's fine 253 that's great and then hit the ok button if you want you can add some uh, detailing add some uh, sharpening a little bit add some color noise reduction and noise reduction that's fine and then let's go to the color mixture from here the saturation of the red i'll make it up like 10 percent and the orange 10 percent yellow 10 percent and then the luminance will make it 10 increasing we are increasing the value of the color and 10 percent that's good let's see the before one and after one you're getting more aesthetic and amazing look over there that's fine and after that texture we'll add some little bit of texture that's good and then going to the effects and adding some dignity a little bit and if you want you can add some grain a little bit so if you add grain over there it will uh, provide you more aesthetic look in this uh, photo so and hit the ok button that's good and then going to the color lookup options here is the color lookup and after that going to the lots of loops over there which one is your favorite you can use from that value here are the kodak and here is the fuji film effect so i'd like to use this one but i'll change the blend mode into soft light and making this one 50 percent and the fill fill will be 50 percent okay that's fine i should change it a little bit okay let's see the before one the flat image actually and after one you are getting the amazing vibes over there which is really nice to use this technique to blend the makeup and you can make the dimension in the face of the portrait when you are editing so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query request please do comment on my video comment section and the next video is when you signing up today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye-bye.